Human beings have the resilience to endure many things, we can adapt to conditions in an incredible way. Especially the Ice Age, which began about 115,000 years ago and lasted for almost 100,000 years with its ups and downs, posed significant challenges for us. To the extent that species like Homo erectus, which shared the Earth with us during or just before this era, became extinct. But before delving into details, let's first define what the Ice Age is. Firstly, our planet needed to be cold for a very long time, we are talking about millions of years in this process. During this time, gradually, as far as we know, our planet, with its 4.6 billion year history, has experienced five major ice ages, the first one occurred about 2 billion years ago and lasted for around 300 million years, and the latest one. But looking back at this period, during its peak, America and most of Eurasia were covered with glaciers. The climate was much drier, and because sea water was trapped in the ice, sea levels were much lower. As plant cover, there were steppes, green plains and deserts were prevalent in some places. The animals living during this period were not very different. There were brown bears, wolves, and many others that are not present today. Mammoths, saber-toothed cats, giant sloths, the significant impact of human hunting is thought to be one of the main reasons for the extinction of these animals. Yes, because we have been around for 300,000 years, we have had quite a bit of interaction with these species. And, of course, after spreading from Africa, we diversified significantly in the climates we faced. Looking at the environment during these periods, more than 30% of the Earth was covered with ice. The average temperature was around 7 degrees Celsius. Antarctica was already covered in ice, while the entirety of North America and the northern parts of Eurasia, including our country, were beneath glaciers. Rainfall was nearly half of today's averages, and as mentioned, coastal plains people, Homo erectus, and Neanderthals lived alongside us during certain periods. However, Homo sapiens had an advantage, Coastal Plains people and Homo erectus were in Asia, and Neanderthals were in Western and Central Eurasia, while we were in Africa. Therefore, we survived the abrupt climate changes associated with the approaching Ice Age, while other species struggled with access to food and shelter. Some researchers even suggest that these species faced extinction due to freezing during this period. Although these claims haven't been fully proven, we can say that living conditions became extremely challenging. After spreading from Africa, living together for a while and, according to some researchers, we might have contributed to their decline due to limited food resources. But now, let's turn to the most crucial factor that enabled our survival in these harsh conditions, stories. Yes, according to many sources, during these periods, Homo sapiens developed a much more complex language than their relatives, and they could even speak fluently. What fundamentally set us apart from other species was a stronger command of language, speaking, observing our surroundings, and passing our observations to our environment and subsequent generations changed everything. In fact, we could think abstractly, plan for the future, and transfer our technologies. It also allowed us to collaborate with other communities and move together. One of the most significant pieces of evidence supporting this is Paleolithic cave art. These drawings, dating back up to 30,000 years, tell us something, they understood nature and found a way to convey information about seasons, plants, weather, and animals. According to some evolutionary biologists, many words we use today, like fire, ash, who, have their origins in this period. Yes, Neanderthals, despite being physically adapted to cold and harsh conditions, couldn't survive because of their lack of these abilities and inability to collaborate, what saved us once again was unity. Anyway, the next advantage is, of course, related to our hunting skills and technological inventions. By the way, we know that all hominins, i.e., humanoid species, use tools and weapons. However, our advantage was once again our intellectual accumulation. About 50,000 years ago, several species, including tools for various purposes, had developed sharp-edged weapons. 
While other species preferred close-range hunting due to their physical advantages, Homo sapiens chose to coordinate long-distance hunting with PS spears, providing us with protection. We strategically planned our hunts, altered the escape routes of animals by setting fires, and shared plans through communication. The primary advantage was not tool usage but our communication skills. Limited resources were acquired from other species through this, leaving them with little. This significantly contributed to the extinction of those species. Dressing, considered by many scientists as the most crucial invention in human history, was made possible by the needle. Needles from around 50,000 years ago were discovered, allowing our ancestors to design and sew clothes. Neanderthals also dressed, but they were a bit more casual, putting on whatever they found. Homo sapiens stitched different layers from different types of skins, showcasing a distinct style. Lastly, they sought shelter from very cold weather and winds in deep rock hollows along riverbeds and hilltops. Using plant coverings, they created a kind of roof and even fashioned doors at cave entrances. Since they controlled fire, they had quite warm shelters. Skeletal structures found by arranging cave footprints in a certain way and covering them with hides marked the beginning of home construction during these periods. The issue of caves is a separate topic, and Homo sapiens, especially by excessively hunting during the Ice Age, accelerated the extinction of nobles. After some point, when there were no animals left to hunt, Homo sapiens had to change their diet and turn to agriculture, but that's another matter. In summary, we survived due to this or that reason. Humanity endured challenges that our minds couldn't comprehend, based on natural conditions, and successfully emerged from disasters that would be considered apocalyptic today. Among all advantages, you have probably noticed what makes us strong, communication, speech, being together, mutual assistance, unity. When humanity knows how to use this power, nothing can stand in its way, it becomes stronger, multiplies, evolves, and can look to the future with more hope. It's actually quite simple. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by pressing the like button. Goodbye.